Welcome everybody to Bedbug Central TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And today we're going to talk about a topic that I recently received in an email. Uh, somebody had emailed me asking my opinion and seeing if I had seen the most recent story about canine scent detection teams. And what that is, is using dogs to detect the odor of bedbugs. Um, and I think that's a really interesting topic because it's becoming a hot technology out there. A, a lot of pest control companies are starting to get dogs to use as, you know, a, a tool to detect the presence of bedbugs. And the reason why this has come to light recently is because the one thing that we don't have is a reliable detection device to detect bedbugs, meaning that we don't have monitors that attract bedbugs to them. So sometimes it's very difficult to find bedbugs when we do an inspection and we don't know for sure if they're there or not. You know, we get people complaining of bites, but we can't find the bugs. Well, other things can cause quote unquote bites. So it, it, you know, we really need to find the bugs if we can, and sometimes we can't. So that's why dogs have become this hot thing on the market right now. And what I want to do is I want to talk to you how I see them fitting into a bed bug management plan. Um, what happened last year was that we actually received a dog here, and I was the handler of that dog um, for about three months. So I have some extensive experience with dog handling. Um, I also, you know, in doing so, wanted to understand all the intricacies of dog handling. So I do have a decent amount of background when it comes to handling a canine scent detection team. And uh, I definitely think that this can be an integral part of a bed bug management plan. That being said, it's something that needs to be approached with care and caution. You know, people go into this thinking that if I had a dog inspecting my home and it goes through and doesn't find bugs, I don't have bed bugs. It gives you a good feeling and it lets you know that there's probably not bugs there, but these dogs are not 100% reliable when it comes to detecting the scent of bed bugs. There are things that they can miss and some things can be very simple. You know, you could have a bug literally right in front of your face on a wall, like right at eye level. And that dog could walk underneath that bug and not detect it. And that's because the odor of that bug is not being brought down to the dog's level by air currents and whatnot. So the, the dog doesn't even know that that bug's there. You can see it, but the dog doesn't know it's there. And, you know, that's not a fault of the dog, but at the same point, you just have to understand that they're not always 100% effective at detecting every bed bug in a home. So that's the first thing to be aware of. Um, the second thing to be aware of is that, like I said, it's becoming a popular topic and because of that a lot of pest control companies and some people outside of pest control are starting to request these dogs and purchase these dogs to detect bed bugs. But by doing so, we're starting to get the dogs in the hands of people who may not be as concerned about the science and technology as they are about making a little bit of money. Now, I don't want to, you know, downplay and, and talk badly about companies out there. That's not my goal at all. You know, I support this science and this technology. But at the same point, there are dog teams getting out there that aren't being handled properly, that aren't being trained properly, and their skill set, skill set isn't being kept up to the level it should be. And in doing so, we're starting to hear some reports of people getting dogs to come out to their home and some weird things are happening, you know, the dogs are scratching all over a home that didn't have any symptoms to begin with. So you think, well, why is it scratching all over? There really shouldn't even be bed bugs here. And, and that's, you know, it, it's, it's a dog handler team that's kind of starting to fall apart a little bit and needs to get reprogrammed and, and back on track. So it, it's about making sure that the dog handler team that you hire has experience and has been doing this for you know, sometime, I, you know, I'd like to see at least three months, if not upwards of that. And then also making sure that the dog handler team you decide to have come out is certified by one of the agencies that certifies dog handler teams. One of which is NESDECA, um, N-E-S-D-C-A. Um, and that's, again, I don't want to just say that's the only one out there. There are others out there. But that's the one that we tend to hear a lot about. Um, and what they do is they certify a dog handler team to be effective in detecting bed bugs. And, you know, you want to make sure that the people you hire have experience and have been certified by one of those agencies. And, and go into an understanding that it is not a definitive thing if the, dog do, well, if the dog does find the odor. You know, they can false indicate, which means that they say there's bed bugs there and there aren't, and they can miss things. It's just going into an understanding that it's not definitive if they do or don't indicate the presence of bed bugs. And, and you just want to be prepared with that when you go into this. So, I do think that this can be a valuable asset if the dog team is trained and handled properly. 
if, if that is the case, I do think this can be valuable. What can it hurt? You bring the dog in, you know, it, it does or it doesn't indicate. You take the information for what it's worth, and you go from there. The one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to see your pest control company basing its treatment protocol on what the dogs found. Because remember that dogs are not 100% effective. And so if you're saying, you know, the dog didn't indicate here, therefore bed bugs aren't here, I'm not going to treat here, you're going to end up missing things and the, the, the bugs aren't going to end up going away. So that's the one thing I can say is you don't want to see your pest control company doing that. Don't base their treatment off of what the dogs found. But other than that, I do think for detecting bed bugs, canine scent detection teams can be a valuable asset. And if it's a direction you want to go, you're having some problems or you just want to know more information, you know, you can go ahead and hire a scent detection team to come out to your home. And we're also going to cover a lot of additional information on scent detection teams. As I said, I've got a lot of experience with this. There's a lot of topics we can talk about when it comes to canine scent detection, and we're going to talk about them, um, all kinds of different things. But uh, we'll get to those in future episodes. Um, again, I'm your host, Jeff White, Bedbug Central TV. Email me, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. Um, looking for as many topics, questions that we can talk about in future episodes. And I will see you guys soon enough.